This isn't Shanghai, it's Sydney. Those following the debate in the UK might be surprised to know Australia has a higher proportion of migrants than almost any other developed country. Australia is one of the most diverse societies in the world. 28% of our population were born overseas. And if you add in their children, you'd have to say that 45% of um, people in Australia have either a personal migration experience or their parents do. And the fastest growing migrant sector is skilled workers from Asia coming here under the points-based immigration system. It's easy to see why people want to move to Australia, one of the world's most livable and prosperous countries. But how does the immigration point system work? Well, age is a key factor. Generally, the younger, the better. 25 to 32 will score you the most points. Then there's education. Having a university degree is good. Work experience and also proficiency in English and plenty have profited. Supporters of the system say it allows Australia to pick and choose who comes and to issue quotas for different skill sectors. Britain actually already operates its own point system for non-EU migrants. But if it were expanded as Brexit supporters want, what would the impact be? There's no reason to think that immigration would fall with a points-based system because there are gaps in the labour force that can be effectively and rapidly filled by migrants.